Hello everyone, uh, my name is P Raptor and um, I'm doing something a little different today. Instead of playing a game, I am going to show you how I install mods on Minecraft. Um, I know I have a lot of mods installed on my mo my single player series, so I was like, why not just show everyone how to, uh, how I install the mods and how it's not really complicated once you understand it and everything. So. Uh, here we go. Uh, since I'm not really used to tutorials or anything, uh, bear with me if I make mistakes and stuff. So, uh, first thing to do when you're going to install mods in Minecraft, I suggest you start out with a clean Minecraft folder. Best way, pretty much the only way really to do that is you go to the start menu, you find your Minecraft folder, which to do that you just type in down there, percent app data percent. Now you hit enter. It takes you to this window right here. The top one, dot Minecraft, you go into this folder. Well, actually, you don't go into it. You just hit delete and we'll click yes and it deletes it. And once you do that, you run double click Minecraft, you run Minecraft or whatever, and from there now this will give you a clean jar, a clean Minecraft everything. And this is the best way to know that you won't have any conflicts with your mods and everything. So um, back up your saves. So, I didn't have any saves in that folder, so I just deleted it. But just always back up your saves so you can always go back into the world and stuff. But uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You pretty much have a uh, clean jar and everything. Now the mods I'm going to show you how to install are for 1.2.5. It's pretty much the same way. It doesn't matter. I'm in my series. I'm playing on. It's in 1.1, but I thought I'd show you 1.2.5 since most people are playing with that version now. So uh, the links to these downloads will be in the description. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to install more explosives, doc, Dr. Jark's Mo creatures, and pretty much Pam, some Pam's mods, which are some really nice mods. Now on my single player I have Metallurgy mod, but since that's not up to date to 1.2.5, I thought I'd show you how to install Pam's Earthcraft, which pretty much is the same thing. It adds ores and stuff, but a little different. So, um, Also, too many items I'd suggest you download just to double check to make sure you have all your mods installed. Now, this is all just stuff about the update and stuff for the next version. Uh, scroll down. The download is right here in bold, right here. Oops. Didn't mean click anything. And just download it. Download it to your desktop. Uh, do the same thing. Go to start. Percent app data percent. Percent app data percent. Enter. Go into Minecraft. Go into Bin. Now, what you'll need to do here, uh, I might have done that a little quickly. So you go into the Minecraft folder, from there you go into the bin folder. And this is the file that you will mostly deal with when it comes to installing mods. This little Minecraft jar, executable jar file. Now you will need a program called 7-Zip or WinRAR. 7-Zip uh, is free, so I suggest getting that. It works the exact same as WinRAR. So uh, here we go, you just right click on it, open with 7-Zip File Manager use that and it'll bring you up to this folder this thing right here uh, just minimize that for now now what you do here uh, you get your too many item zip file right here double click it to open it drag that to the side you select everything in this folder uh, what I do I just said control on keyboard and, and a it selects everything control a or curl a whatever you say it and wait before you do that uh, this folder right here, the meta inf or meta inf, you delete that folder before you install any mods. It doesn't matter what mod you're installing, you have to delete it. Delete, and because that just messes with mods and makes them not work. So you select all those in here, or you just like do that, doesn't matter, and drag it straight in there. Click yes when that pops up, and you successfully have installed too many items. Unless you mess something up. Make sure you don't put any of the files into any of these folders. So, like, if you have something like that, you don't want to accidentally drag it into the Paul's code thing. So, uh, go to desktop, test it, just run Minecraft like you normally would. 
do 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 log in make sure you install it correctly you should get to this screen unless it's black screen that means something went wrong and you should re try it so uh single player create a new world just create a new world uh create a mode real quick and saving chunks any second now it loads long okay generating world yeah, Minecraft doesn't have any sound right now. That's probably had a problem opening it. But uh well it does have sound. But here you go. No, you got too many items. This entire menu should pop up. This is actually new with the update. Change your difficulty right here. But uh yeah, so that's pretty much it for Oh, there's audio. It's a little loud for me. Okay, now uh save and quit, quit game. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to install mod lover. Um, mod loader minecraft forge uh and the other base what i call base mods pretty much every mod whether it's uh mo creatures more explosives or the pams mods they all require what i call base mods to get them working now to find the base mods uh you can pretty much just visit the form page of the mod that you're installing and they should have them like right here mo creatures have them all right here it requires mod loader forge client uh, GUI API and uh, custom mob spawner. Now I've already downloaded all these, so I'm, but all you gotta do is click on it. It takes takes you to one of these little add fly links, and uh, just skip add and download. And uh, so pretty much you do pretty much the same thing what you did with too many items. Uh, exit too many items. Double click mod lo loader to open it. Make sure you have uh, the Minecraft jar open and just in case if you exit you just go into the minecraft bin right here right click open with 7-zip and uh, not min mean to minimize that and then it brings you to this now you just select all these files drag and drop hit yes and that's how it's installed again make sure it doesn't go into any of these folders in here it will just install it the way it should now you should be good with that and minimize this. Now open up Minecraft again. Testing it. Make sure you test each mod before you install it. Uh, I didn't do what I should have done, but back up your jar file right here. Always make a copy of that. But since I pretty much know what's going on, I'm I know that I did it right. So quit game. And to know that you've had installed Mod Loader correctly, a folder should pop up that says Mods and well two folders mods and config this will basically show you where to configure all your mods that you have like you could turn off uh, too many items if you don't want it on just by typing off but let's keep that on for now and uh, too many items yeah it creates these two folders and from there I'll show you what to do uh, and exit oh and if like your game somehow crashes a good way to find out like what went wrong when you have mod loader installed, you go into the mod loader file right here and shows you what went wrong. Okay, uh, meet that, minimize this. Now, pretty much to install Minecraft Forge, select all, drag and drop. You're going to be doing a lot of that, just dragging and dropping. That's pretty much all modding is drag and drop. So this was Minecraft Forge. And to get that, you pretty much go to Mo Creatures, click on that, and it takes you to the link and just downloads it. Okay, now you could you could test it if you want, but I think I'm pretty much safe. But now you open up next one you install is the GUI API. Select all again, Control A, or just actually I think you're right click no you can't select all that way okay control a drag and drop click yes and that's installed close this next one would be custom mob spawner now everything in there just <clears throat> select all drag and drop click yes again and exit that close this or oh, minimize it and then you open up minecraft Login. Now, if everything went correctly, it should pop up to the main menu.
and it looks like it was where it worked. Okay, you quit game. Nothing you can test just yet. Quit. Okay. Check. Uh, I don't think any new configs went up. No. Oh, Minecraft Forge. There we go. There you go. Minecraft Forge is correctly installed.